I'm Clark County Poet Laureate Angela M. Brommel, and today we're meeting with Arif Tonki, a local youth poet from Henderson, and we recently met up in Henderson at the Poets on the Plaza event, an annual event in downtown Henderson, usually the third week of April at the Outdoor Amphitheater. So thank you for coming in today. Thank you. I was so impressed um, that you were reciting such well-known poems. And so I wanted to have you come in and share it with more people today for people that missed it. I wondered, how long have you been reciting poetry? Um, I have been reciting poetry since kindergarten, which was about six or seven years ago, I believe. Okay, help me out. What grade are you in this year? Fifth grade. So, okay, fifth yeah. grade. And where do you go to school? Challenger School. So that was just something part of going to school there from the very beginning? They mm -hmm. had you start yeah. memorizing things? Short poems, and then they got longer and longer. Yeah. Great. Are there any people there in particular, or people in your life in particular, that have um, really helped you? Like, who helps you with your poetry and getting ready? Well, my parents helped me a lot in um, for, uh, help, helping me practice my poetry and um, I would like to thank my teachers Miss Barron and my headmaster Miss Sherko for um, for giving me these speeches to practice. Wonderful. So I'm really excited about this. I know you've brought us three poems today. Okay so uh, my first poem. The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood and sorry I could not travel both. And be one traveler long I stood, And looked down one as far as I could To where it bent in the undergrowth. Then took the other as justice fair, And having perhaps the better claim, Because it was grassy and wanted wear, Though as for that the passing there Had worn them really about the same. And both that morning equally lay, In leaves no step had trodden black, Oh, I kept the first for another day, yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh, some more ages and ages hence. Two woods diverged in a wood and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. That was so good. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that is such a great poem. Um, how about your second one? Okay. My second one is If by Rudyard Kipling. If you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you. If you can trust yourself when all men doubt you but make allowance for their doubting too. If you can wait and not be tired by waiting or being lied about don't deal in lies or being hated. Don't give way to hating. And yet don't look too good nor talk too wise. If you can dream and not make dreams your master. If you can think and not make thoughts your aim. If you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat those two imposters just the same. If you can bear to hear the truth you've spoken, twisted by knaves to make a trap for fools, or watch the things you gave your life to, broken, and stoop and build them up with worn out tools. If you can make one heap of all your winnings and risk it on a turn of pitch and toss, and lose and start again at your beginnings, and never breathe a word about your loss. If you can force your heart and nerve and sinew to serve your turn long after they are gone, and so hold on when there is nothing in you except the will which says to them, hold on. If you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue, or walk with kings nor lose the common touch, if all men count with you, but none too much, if neither foes nor loving friends can hurt you, if you can fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run, yours is the earth and everything that's in it. And, which is more, you'll be a man, my son. Thank you. 
that was a great job. Do you pick the poems out yourself? Yes, um, I, I, during the Poets of the Plaza, I also recited this speech. You did, you did, it was and, wonderful. And the other two speeches are, um, are from Challenger. They had given to me for an assignment, and I've chosen them again for this. Thing. Okay, how long does it usually take you to memorize something? About maybe like a few days, like, like okay. four or five days then to like master it and complete it. Um, for speeches, for speeches, te speech tests this year, we take about two weeks to memorize them. We, recite, we, rec we receive them on Monday and then the following Friday we recite them for a, a grade. That's great. Well, I w do you want to do the last one for us? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Don't Quit by Edgar Guest. When things go wrong, as they sometimes will, when the road you're trudging seems all uphill, when the funds are low and the debts are high, and you want to smile, but you have to sigh, when care is pressing you down a bit, rest if you must, but don't you quit. Life is queer with its twists and turns, as every one of us sometimes learns. And many a failure turns about when he might have won had he stuck it out. Don't give up, though the pace seems slow. You may succeed with another blow. Often the struggler has given up when he might have captured the victor's cup. And he learned too late when the night slipped down how close he was to the golden crown. Success is failure turned inside out, the silver tint of the clouds of doubt. And you never can tell how close you are. It may be near when it seems so far. So stick to the fight when your heart is hit. It's when things seem worst that you must not quit. That was wonderful. Thank, Thank you, you so much. So glad you came today. And I'm hoping you still have so much time left for so many contests and local things for poets. And so, you know, I'm hoping that maybe at some point you consider at the book festival. There's the Spark Festival and there's Poetry Out Loud and all sorts of things like that. So I'm hoping we see you again. Thank but you. Thank you for coming. For everyone at home, our next Writer Ready workshop at the Winchester Dondero Cultural Center will be Saturday, June 24th, 10 a.m. to noon. And our focus is the poetry revisions, the joy of artful revision. So please bring two poems that you are willing to share with other people and work on them. And I look forward to seeing you there. Happy writing.